Well, welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for joining us. If you're new to the channel, don't forget, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification to hear about all our new content and it'll let you know when it's released. So today I need to share a problem with you. One actually that will be affecting many of you today. In fact, on the 1st of November, Tesco's and Podpoint stopped sharing their charging network for free. That means a extra cost during this cost of living crisis for all EV owners out there. In fact, personally, I've benefited from hundreds of pounds worth of free electricity since I got my Tesla Model 3 back in 2021. So with this new problem that I share with many of you, we need to find a solution. And in today's video, we start a new mini series of my solution. So to help me with this problem, I've enlisted the help of Pinewood Energy Services, a local company to me just down the road. I'm not a fan of heights. There was a problem with these ladders, they're wobbling lots. Oh. Well, why am I on the top of my roof? Well, the solution to the problem lies within. Solar panels. So to help us understand what I've actually got here, we've got Darren from Pinewood Energy Services. Thanks for stopping for a minute in your busy day here as you're helping us build a solution for our energy issue here. So I'm looking to try and power both my house and my car. Mm -hmm. uh, so probably looking to get at least 20 kilowatts of energy over a day. What are you actually installing for me here? I know we're having the Give Energy system ultimately, but what does that mean? And what does 19 panels on my roof space actually mean we're likely to generate them? Okay, so what we've installed so far is just a, a, a PV only install. Uh, you've got 19 panels. I think we calculated the rough total of the panels was about seven kilowatt at maximum. Um, your generation from your inverter will be five kilowatts to total at one time. So in layman's terms, if you turn on a, a kettle, uh, your electric oven say, and your total loads, I don't know, probably around five to six kilowatt using that, you'd be using full solar power. Uh, when you get your battery installed with your Give Energy system, you'll end up with uh, whatever you don't use will go back into your battery system and you can charge up to your 19 kilowatts total. Uh, with that, if, you, if it detects that your generation isn't enough and that your batteries uh, have got charge, it will input whatever you need back into your house so you only ever use what you're generating or what you've got stored. If your load is too much, then you'll end up buying back from the grid. So it's all about balancing and changing your lifestyle really actually and in, in using your power that way. Um, as for charging overnight, you can do that with a battery. So if you've got a cheap nighttime tariff and you're charging your EV car, that means that you can then charge your batteries, use that cheap nighttime tariff throughout the morning. Again, more energy savings. Uh, during the summer months, you'll find you won't buy any electricity, especially with the, the backup that you've got here. Um, come the winter months, you'll do well, but you, you'll, you'll be buying at a cheaper rate during the night time. And I imagine with the storage you've got, you'll double drop dramatically. So it sounds like really I'm going to be relatively self-sufficient maybe in the summer months, yep. but actually in the winter months when there's less daylight, yep. we're going to be really needing to make use of those batteries yeah, and it, yeah. buying that cheap overnight yes, tariff, yeah, it, which is something yeah. I plan to do. And if you're looking at solar, it's probably something you're already looking at. You know, there are some really competitive nighttime tariffs, you know, particularly Octopus is one I'm looking at, 7p or seven to and a half pence overnight um, with a, a slightly higher standing charge, but you're going to really benefit from the yes, overnight exactly. ability to charge your batteries. So from your consumer unit there, you can see there's a conduit that runs along the wall into the AC isolator. Um, that powers the unit and also allows the inverter to backfeed uh, your solar generated power back into the property. Um, above that is a generation meter. Uh, that tells your overall generation um, from when the system's installed. This here is your inverter and that's what generates the DC power from the solar panels into AC power. And of course, we're going to be changing that soon for the Give Energy. This is just one you've loaned us so we can benefit from the solar while we await the parts coming from Give Energy themselves. Yeah, that's it. So while we wait for the Gen 2 to come in, uh, we'll just put that one in. That does five kilowatt, as we said before, um, and 
when you get your new inverter, it'll fill that gap nicely. You'll have two batteries underneath and they that'll charge the batteries when you've generated too much. So Darren, of course, this isn't free, is it, to install? No. So we're talking probably for my setup about 14 and a half to 15,000 pounds. Realistically though, what can I expect a, a payback return time on this? So yeah, 15,000 pounds up front, but if people at home are considering, you know, they've got an EV themselves, they've got maybe a four bedroom house and they're thinking, well, actually, realistically, how long is that gonna take to pay back? What can we look at with a return on a system like this? Well, going off of what we quoted you back in June time, we were estimated between five to seven years, say, depending on usage. With the current market, you're probably looking more four to six years, uh, just because uh, everything's rocketing in price. Um, so a, a, a st sort of smaller house, you'd be looking even less. Um, it, it all depends on usage and what, what sort of system you have installed. I certainly think uh, if you're an EV owner and you're doing the same sort of mileage as me, maybe sort of 20 to 40 miles a day in your car, you're probably going to be starting to look at, you know, about eight kilowatts a day, I reckon I use uh, in my Tesla. So eight kilowatts, uh, being able to buy that energy at 7p rather than, as we said earlier, the 34 pence that a unit charge is going up to at the moment in October when we're filming this. So you can look at the comparison difference of the money I'm going to save just by being able to charge those batteries up at night and benefit from that overnight tariff. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you find it useful. Thanks so much to Darren and all the team from PES for sharing their time with us today and talking us through the install. It's been really exciting. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button if you found the channel useful and give the video a thumbs up. And don't forget to follow PES as well on their social media. We'll drop all the links in the comments below. Until next time, thanks for watching.